tonight. A new study finds some children with autism have trouble matching what they are seeing with what they are hearing. Doctors say they are interpreting events around them like a poorly dubbed movie. Erica Edwards reports. I'm letting you leave here. That's so you can tell everybody you've seen what takes place here. Classic spaghetti western movies are known for their shootouts and bar scenes. And also the difficulty editors at the time had matching the video to the audio track. Such a big reward being offered on all you gentlemen. This scene from For a Few Dollars More, starring Clint Eastwood, illustrates poor lip sync, which according to a new study from Vanderbilt University, is a modern day problem for some children with autism. And we really use that as an analogy of how these children with autism may be perceiving the sensory world, and that there's this desynchronization between the visual information and the auditory information. Researchers compared over 30 high-functioning autistic children to those who are typically developing. In one of the tests, the participants were asked to watch a video of a woman talking and to select whether her mouth moved at the same time as the sound or a different time. Autistic children were slower to respond. They seemed to synthesize this information over a longer period of time than the children who are typically developed. But how that affects their ability to communicate or socialize is unknown. These studies don't tell us what does this really mean on a day-to-day -day basis, out in the field, in the home, in the school. Those studies are happening now. Vanderbilt researchers are looking at interventions for autistic lip sync issues with the hope of getting these children more in sync with the world around them. Erica Edwards, KMIR News. Researchers also say there is some evidence that autistic children outgrow this synchronization issue by their teens, but it could still have an impact on their speech development. Still to come on your KMIR News at 5, we're going to recap tonight's top stories. And then new tonight